How does it feel going into your last tournament? Uh, feels I'm feeling ready to go, ready to compete, uh, healthy and excited. Is this a little more exciting for you, based on the locale where this one's going to be? You might know a few more people in the stands. Uh, every year, the postseason is super exciting. Uh, it is. Gonna, it's going to be cool being in Pittsburgh because I grew up an hour outside of Pittsburgh, so I'll have a lot of uh, Penn State fans and fans from home and uh, family and friends. So it'll be fun. But again, I'm not looking or not looking at it as anything different than what it is, and that's just another opportunity to go compete and and get it done, so. You know, do you feel any different coming into this year's tournament than you did last year coming off the injury? Uh, yeah, I feel I feel healthier, uh, more excited, or not necessarily more excited, but excited because I'm healthier and uh, I'm just ready to go and grateful for it. Was there any doubt for you last year, going into a little backup? No, no doubt, no. I always believe in myself and my training, and I know that as long as I give it 100% attitude effort, then I can do anything. Since the Big Ten's ended, has there even been a second where you haven't been thinking about this weekend? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm trying to stay in the present and not uh, think about it too much, but it is an exciting time where I think we're all excited and looking forward to getting to Pittsburgh and uh, competing. So, Is there anything you do that you're able to stay in that mindset that helps you with that mindset? I mean, I don't know if it's yoga or you know, um, reading or nothing. Yeah, I, I play a little bit of video games, watch a little bit of TV, and but whenever my mind starts to wander, I just pray, and and then I kind of remain focused on what I need to be focused on, and uh, that usually works for me. So, what's the most impressive thing you've seen Bo do on the mat in your time here with him? Uh, probably last year when he flipped the guy over and pinned him in the NCAA finals. That was pretty impressive. What was your viewpoint of that? Were you watching that on a TV screen or could you be out on the I was, I was uh, with my family and Buzz family watching from the stands. It's pretty cool. How have the younger guys, you know, as the season's progressed, impressed you this year? Whether it's, you know, guys like Arvin Y and Berge or even a guy like Nick Lee who's in his second year and is improving on last year? I just think you see overall their attitudes change uh, over the course of their career. They start to um, approach the approach the game with a, a better mindset and with a, a better attitude and I, I've seen that with all of my teammates and I think that's one of the biggest things in improving as a wrestler and as a competitor and I've seen that a lot so how important is it for you to go out this last year and just enjoy yourself uh, yeah that's that's super important to me is going out and uh, just doing the best I can with what I'm given and enjoying every moment of it because it's it is my last tournament but it's again it's just another tournament that I'm looking forward to competing. Do you ever stop and inhale some of the success that you've had and really stop and think back on it or no? Uh, no, I'm looking, looking uh, at the present and looking ahead, so, uh, yep. Think, I'm, think about the individual hunters, like a, like a Hodge trophy or anything like that? I'm not worried about that stuff. I'm worried about wrestling in this tournament. Do you and Bo ever talk about the pin race or is that just kind of a joke? No, we're not worried about that either. We're worried about competing at this tournament. What's going to stick with you the most, you know, through your time here? Um, probably my wife. She'll probably, cause we'll probably be stuck together for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. How different do you think your college experience is? Is uh, finding a wife, being married. Um, you're not the first you know, wrestler to come here to be married. But I'm just curious. Yeah. Like, how do you, how different do you think your college experience is, and what do you think that's going to be for you going forward? Um, I feel like I kind of came to a level of maturity a lot sooner than I, maybe I expected. Uh, I didn't really come in, I didn't really expect to get married right away, but uh, I did, and that's kind of how it is, but I uh, I see things a little bit different than some people, and that can be a benefit, or uh, I view it as a benefit, but um, yeah, I, I just have a little bit different experience than some of these other guys, but it doesn't mean, that necessarily mean it's a better experience or it's a worse experience, it's just different. Hey Jason, why don't you talk about the Hodge Trophy? I mean, we've heard you guys, you know, talk about Monopoly, I think, more often than we've heard <laughs> you talk about the Hodge Trophy. Why is that? Um, I just think when you start to focus on external awards and, uh, I mean, if you, look, if you look at why we wrestle, we don't, we don't wrestle it to, to go out and win awards that other people, like, make up. We, we do it because we love wrestling. We start wrestling because we love wrestling. We love what it offers. And... Um, I think when you start to focus on the, the media and uh, social media, then it just kind of becomes a distraction, and it's, and it's not gonna 
it's, it's not gonna it's gonna take away your focus from what you're really focused on and that's uh, just going out there and hitting your moves and focusing on what you can do and and so I don't I don't like to focus on anything that's not what I what I want to focus on so Jason it seems like you have more fun wrestling than almost anybody else I mean how do you how do you keep having fun time and time again out there with you know such a grueling season and everything uh, I think being creative uh, finding new opportunities to score and just continue to learn is uh, super important and continue to have fun and uh, our coaches do a good job of switching up our training cycle so that we're not doing the same thing over and over and over again uh, so it just keeps it interesting and there's always more to learn about the sport and uh, it's fun it never, it never gets old going out there and and doing what I can do, so. One more for Jason. What were, what were your expectations when you arrived here? You talked about now that you believe it. Um, my expectations were to, to become a four-time undefeated national champ, and uh, obviously that didn't happen, but now I'm looking to be a three-time national champ, and um, yeah, I'm, I expect, I have higher expectations for myself than anybody could have for me, so, um, so I'm not really uh, worried about what other people think or, I'm, I'm just more put, uh, I, I focus on myself and do what I can do and um, I want to win every single match that I wrestle in and I want to pin everybody so that's kind of my expectation.